Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today we are making fried cabbage. Now fried cabbage, in my opinion, is one perfect side dish because one, it is easy to make and two, you can enjoy it all year long. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so diving right into this recipe, we're gonna start off with the star of the dish. We're gonna need one large head of green cabbage. You want to remove the core and then chop up the rest of the cabbage into small pieces. This recipe makes enough for at least four to six servings of fried cabbage. We're also gonna need one large white onion that we're going to finely dice into small pieces. You're gonna need one large bell pepper that you want to remove the core first and then cut into thin slices. And finally, one garlic clove that you want to smash to remove the outer peel first and then use a sharp knife to mince that. All right, now onto the cooking part. Into a large pot, we wanna add in two tablespoons worth of unsalted butter set over medium heat or 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. We're gonna add in our diced onions and cook the onions for about four minutes or until they become tender and translucent. After that stage, we wanna add in our minced garlic and allow this to cook for about one to two minutes or until it's fragrant. Now we wanna add in our diced cabbage I'm gonna follow that up by adding in our sliced red bell peppers as well to the pot and mix those into the rest of the ingredients. Here we wanna add our seasoning. So we're gonna start off by adding half a teaspoon of consomme powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about one and a half teaspoons worth of Lowry seasoned salt, one and a half teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, and about two tablespoons worth of Worcestershire sauce. Mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined. Now for some added boost in flavor, we wanna add in one more tablespoons worth of unsalted butter, one tablespoons worth of apple cider vinegar, as well as one teaspoons worth of granulated white sugar. Give these ingredients a quick toss and cover the pot and allow these ingredients to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes over medium low heat or 249 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius. And after this initial time, we wanna remove the lid and increase the stove top to medium heat or 350 Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius. Keep stirring the pot and allow this to cook until all the red bell peppers are tender. You always want to taste test as you go and season it with any additional salt and black pepper or other spices that we use in this recipe to your own personal taste. And once it's tasting like you like it, you want to transfer this to a serving bowl and enjoy. And just like that, you've made fried cabbage right at home. As you can see, this is a really easy recipe to make. It kind of makes itself once you get all the ingredients in the pot and the flavor is amazing. For even more flavor, you can add bacon to this recipe if you want. Fry the bacon first in the pot, and then you want to use its grease as a substitute for the initial two tablespoons worth of butter. My fried cabbage is vegetarian, but feel free to add this bacon as a great boost in flavor as well. But when you do try this recipe at home, be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine or hashtag Chef Vic Cuisine so I can see your great takes on this dish. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 4, Enhancing Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. And feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make fried cabbage. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button for me. It's one of the best ways to show support for the channel. And if you haven't done so already, Hit that subscribe button too to see more recipes just like this one. And sharing is caring, so if you enjoyed this recipe and think someone else will too, feel free to share this with all your family and friends. 
And stay tuned for next week where I show you my classic take on the Louisiana dish jambalaya. This is an amazing entree choice that serves a large crowd. Well, thank you again all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can always check out my recipes on my page now. YouTube thinks you'll like these videos, so let's see if they're right. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.